average tax revenue in 2021 to 22 went up almost 15 percent across all levels of governments from the year before so in just one year a 15 percent tax increase in nominal terms the oecd also released a report overnight making this point matthias Corman tweeted a new oecd analysis we've released today shows that with high inflation in 2022 effective tax rates rose in most oecd countries with a larger increase for families with children at lower income levels. The OECD report itself says this, this phenomenon automatically generates higher nominal tax revenues for the government, higher nominal tax revenues for the government, but it does so in a way that lacks transparency. Matt Canavan, you are a trained economist, first class honours in economics. The OECD makes the point that this is a tax increase for governments, that it lacks transparency, it's a tank tax increase by stealth. Those are my words, stealth, not the OECDs. Um, and in Australia, thresholds haven't been properly adjusted for 15 years. This is a problem, of course, not just Labor. This, you know, the coalition government didn't do anything either. The issue is now inflation is so high at 7% and we're seeing wage growth for the first time after, you know, it was stagnant for 10 years. What needs to be done here? Well, well, Shari, I don't think it's quite fair to say the coalition did nothing. Uh, uh, we did make massive changes to our income tax system. In fact, these stage three tax cuts, which is so much in debate right now, are the last tranche of the tax cuts that we put in place when we were in government. And that was, in part at least, uh, to return this issue of bracket creep. So uh, those tax cuts, including the stage three ones, if we are allowed to get them by Labor, uh, will help correct for the bracket creep that has occurred over the last couple of decades. But you're also right to say that inflation is uh, a big spending government's best friend. Uh, that inflation naturally uh, and somewhat artificially uh, pushes people up into higher tax brackets even if they aren't actually any wealthier. They've just had an increase of, in of their wages due to inflation. They pay more tax. Governments are happier, but the rest of us are poorer. And that's why we should look at indexing tax rates. Uh, you might recall a couple of months ago, the Labor Party broke a promise about taxing superannuation uh, balances. Uh, of course, they haven't decided to tax to index that threshold to inflation. So more and more people will pay that super tax as so, inflation continues to rise. So you're saying, Matt, that rise. we should look and at that. And why aren't, we, aren't, we, yeah. aren't we indexing other? We should. Yeah. Well, keep in mind, the Prime Minister's superannuation is indexed. He yeah. gets a defined benefit. I don't, but he gets a defined oh. benefit superannuation, and it goes up with inflation. But your tax, your tax rates don't.